Yo, what up, guys? Uh, this is I Lebron here, and here I have a battle against Fatal Zim. He asked me to battle on the Nightmare forums. I said, sure, why not? Let's have this battle. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a pretty interesting battle. So he's going to lead off with his Lord of Wash form, and I'm going to lead off with my Swampert. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump. I'm thinking he's a Scarfed, but after seeing that amount of damage, I'm kind of thinking that he Specs, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks, and now I'm going to stay in as Fodder because if I switch into anything to a Specs Hydro Pump, that is going to do a lot to any of my Pokemon, and I kind of need them, and uh, Swampert is kind of useless after that. So I get a safe switch and into my Tsune, which is my Salamence. And here I'm just going to go for the Draco Meteor. And um, he switches out into his Porygon 2, which I'm assuming he has the Evil Light. He d traces the Intimidate, which is not good at all because I am a mixed man. So after this Draco Meteor, my plan was to go for the Outrage. But I forgot that I got the Intimidate. And this is not going to be able to kill after the Evil Light and the negative 1 attack. So he's going to go for the recover and that me going for the outrage was a horrible move there because now I am locked on it and he's just going to go for the ice beam here and that is going to be able to finish my Salamence off. So what I should have done, I should have switched predicting the the recover there and uh, switched into my Randy Rosie but oh well. So now I'm going to go into my scissor. And I know he's going to predict me to go for the superpower or the fighting move. So I'm going to go for the sword stance while he switches out into his Gengar. Which is uh, pretty good because I know that a plus two bullet punch will be able to kill that Gengar off. And that's what I proceed to do. And um, now that he has a safe switch and he's going to go into his Rotom. I'm predicting him to go for the the trick either to give me a choice item or go for the will-o-wisp so i'm gonna switch into my dentura and he tricks me at uh, choice specs which is really good because uh specs uh dentura is a beast you know because it has high special attack and speed so while he switches out i'm going to go for the thunder and that is so overpowered that is gonna be able to one hit ko that scissor and i'm kind of liking a specs dentura so he's gonna go into his darmanitan I kind of need my Dentura for later, so I'm going to switch out to my Terrakion as fodder. Maybe I could live too, since uh, Flare Blitz is not super effective. But, um, Banded or Choice Scarfed, Darmanitans, Flare Blitz does not play games. It will put you in the body bag. And um, that is going to be able to 2 hit KO my Terrakion. So, now that I do have a safe switch, and I'm going to go into my Scarfed. Randorosu, which I know I'm going to be able to outspeed. I'm going to go for the Hammer Arm, just in case if you decided to switch into a Rotom Wash form, predicting my Earthquake. I didn't want to waste a move. So I went for the Hammer Arm, and I knew would have been able to kill it either way. So he's going to go into his Randorosu, and since I'm Scarfed and um, stuck on Hammer Arm, I'm going to switch out of there, predicting the bulk up, and that's what he does. So now I'm just going to go for the Thunder with my Specs Dantura, hoping he's going to be able to one hit KO, but I'm not really sure he's going to be able to because he is a special defensive um, bulkiness of um, Kunkledur because he does he is the bulk upset. I do get the paralyzation, which is quite nice. He's going to go for the Drain Punch. It's not going to be able to kill me. And now I am assuming that he's going to go for the Mog Punch here because, you know, he just wants to be able to finish me off. But luckily for me, he does get paralyzed, which kind of mattered. Actually, it did matter a lot. So now I'm just going to go for the Thunder. Luckily for me, it does hit. I do have the Compound Die, so it does give me the upper hand of hitting that. He's going to go into his Rotom Wash form. I'm going to go for the Thunder. I do miss. I only have a 91% accuracy, I believe, after Compound Eyes. He's going to go for the Hidden Power Fire and going to be able to finish me off. Now, I didn't notice that he had Hidden Power Fire there. So, I'm going to go into my Randorosu. And I am just going to... I went for the U-Turn here, but it was a misclick. I meant to go for the Hammer Arm, but it doesn't really matter because... um, no, I'm just going to switch out into my Scissor. I do get a cool hit here. I am sure it didn't matter because what I would have done with my scissor, go for the bullet punch, and that would have been able to kill. But either way, I still do that, and I'm able to finish his um, Porygon 2 out. So now he's going to go into his Rotom form, and I'm thinking I might be able to 2 KO this with a Brick Break, but he has the Hidden Power Fire, and I didn't notice that he had it before. He's going to be able to finish my scissor off. So after that, I know it's safe. It's a good game for me because I'm just going to go into my uh, Randorosu. Since I'm faster, I'm just going to hit him with the hammer arm. So that's going to be a good game. Comment, like, subscribe, and go check out my channel if you guys enjoyed this battle and this narration. And uh, peace, dogs.